Nina 
Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Hakuna mwingine kama ye Seba ni nani Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Hakuna mwingine kama ye Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Hakuna mwingine kama ye Ana ye weza Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Ni Yesu, ni Yesu, ni Yesu tu Hakuna mwingine kama ye Somebody dance for the Lord because He's worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Sifu bana, sifu bana, daima boyo angu. Sifu bana, daima. Sifu bana, sifu bana, daima boyo angu. Sifu bana, daima. Sifu bana, sifu bana, daima boyo angu. Sifu bana daima, bana sifu bana daima, moyo wangu sifu bana daima. Penda bana, penda bana daima, moyo wangu penda bana daima, penda bana, penda bana daima, moyo wangu penda bana daima. Penda bana, penda bana daima, moyo wangu. Penda bana daima, penda bana, penda bana daima, moyo wangu. Penda bana daima, oh inua bana, inua bana daima, moyo wangu. Inua bana daima, inua bana, inua bana daima, moyo wangu. Inua bana daima, inua bana daima, moyo wangu. Inua bana. up your hands let's love the lord father we thank you what a privilege to worship you what a privilege to love you lord what a privilege to exalt your holy name in this place you are worthy to be praised oh god 
You are worthy to be lifted. You are worthy to be magnified. We worship you. Give you all the praise and the glory. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. Bizazi, Hadibi Zazi, Yakufa Hamu, Wing, Uliye Mungu Akaling, Na Uliye Mungu Aleung, Kazi Zakong, Za Onye Shang, Ukuwa Ko Wing, Ume to Kukang, Ume Inuliwa. Ewe banang Bizazi Bizazi Hadi bizazi Bia kufahamu Ewe Unie Mungu wakale Na unie Mungu wa leo Kazi za Koza Onyesha Ukuwa Kufahamu wewe Uliye mungu wakale Na uliye mungu waleo Kazi za koza onyesha Huku wako wewe Umetukuka, umeinuliwa Ewe bwana lift up our hands and just love the Lord in a minute of worship in a minute of thanksgiving with your own words of worship and surrender to God Father we have not come to a mountain that can be touched a physical place but we have come to the mountain of God we have come to the place of the meeting with God the invisible God the God who is spirit the God who is here we have come to Jesus the Lord, the one who resurrected. For where two or three gather in your name, 
Lord, you are there in their midst. We have come to the place, the Zion of God, the heavenly Jerusalem, with innumerable angels, the spirits of righteous men perfected. We have come to the place of the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abeloka, than the blood of bulls. We have come to you with our hearts ready, O oh God, with our hearts set, with our inner being desiring that Lord will experience you. Lord will experience renewal. Will experience strength and power. We have come to you our helper. Our strength. Our fortress. The pillar of our existence. Lord be magnified in this place. Be exalted my father. Be lifted king of kings. And lord of lords be exalted. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we lift up your holy name. You are worthy to be praised in this place. You are worthy to be lifted, Alpha Omega. You are the beginning and the end, O God. You are the beginning and the end, my Father. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We come to worship you we come to bless you oh yes thank you for your presence here thank you for your power thank you for your anointing we give you praise we give you glory we magnify you lord we exalt your holy name you are good and your mercies endure us forever we thank you bless every one of us that has come to appear before you in zion on the mountain of deliverance lord and i pray that lord you bless every one of us thank you for those that are coming they are still far away coming, Lord. We pray that you bless them and hasten their steps. Lord, that you will have time of refresh, refreshing in the presence of the Lord. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus one more time. Amen. Give him a shout of prayer. Give him a what a joy to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I refuse to call this meeting a revival meeting because we have gotten used to that statement. But I'm calling it a faith fire fellowship. Come on. I'm calling it a faith fire fellowship because in this fellowship, fire will catch up with your spirit. Amen. I tell you, fire will catch up with your spirit. Amen. You just need some ignition and you believe God for the impossible. Amen. I say you need some ignition. Amen. Ignition is to bring a flame where there is petrol. Amen. I know there is petrol in the inside of you. Amen. I know there is a fuel of faith in the inside of you. And I pray that before the end of our three days, something will happen in the inside of your life. Amen. There will be a spark that will reflect on your face. I say Amen. there will be a spark in the inside of you yeah. that will reflect in your face. And I'm here to say it doesn't matter what we are going through. God is in this place. His amen. power is in this place. Somebody say amen. Amen. And I need to say this before we share the word. We carried some stuff from 2020. The stuff of pain. The experiences of the year. The challenges. And we want to retain it in 2021. In this meeting we will be cleansed by the Lord. Amen. Of everything we carried over to this side. We will return it to 2020. Amen. We will pick a new anointing for 2021. Amen. May the Lord hear our prayer in this season. Amen. May the Lord answer our prayer in this season. Amen. May the Lord open the door that you have been waiting for. Amen. This is a new season and this is a new dispensation. Amen. Something will happen. Amen. Help me tell your neighbor something new will happen in your life. Something new will happen. If they only believe you are a prophet. If they don't believe, don't tell them. Don't tell somebody and they are looking like they are cursing you. If you see somebody who looks like they are cursing you, you, you are free to change. Come on, you are free to look and for another person and tell somebody a door will open for you. A door will open for you no matter what is happening, a door will open for you. Look at somebody and tell them there is an open door that is about to open for you. An open door that no man will shut. An open door that no man will shut. He says, he who holds the keys of David. He says, I'm opening a door for you and no man will shut. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. He that holds the keys of David. Amen. He's opening a door that no sickness will shut. Amen. When God blesses you with money, no sickness will take it away. Amen. God is opening a door that no man will shut. Amen. Thank you, choir. The Lord bless you. Let's appreciate this wonderful choir. We thank God for their devotion and their commitment. 
Look for the nice place to sit in the presence of the Lord. We just want to make an abode in the house of God. David said, one thing I desire, the same thing I seek after, to dwell in the house of the Lord. That is the desire of David, and that was his pursuit. He desired to dwell in the house of the Lord. And I pray that these few days you will not struggle to dwell in the house of the Lord. If only you and me desire. You know you cannot, you cannot do it if there is no desire in you. But if you desire, the Lord will grant with the desire of your heart. God will come in and cause it to happen. David desired to be in the house of God. And I also desire to be in the house of God. I'm not struggling to be here. It is my home. I don't know about you. This is my home. The body may be found elsewhere, but the spirit has a home in God. I have a home in God. I want us to go straight to the word of God. And at this juncture, I want to welcome those who are joining us on, online on this sharing as we begin the new year 2021. We thank God for the grace that he has given us to remain firm in the house of god everything wants to remove our foot from the very house that has given us value but we have purposed in our hearts to remain in the house of the lord so you is tuning in the lord bless you and give you to be right with us to the end and i request every one of us let's open our bibles in the book of jeremiah chapter 33 i'll read verse 1 to verse number 3 Jeremiah chapter 33. I'll read from verse number 1 to verse number 3. The Bible says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time while he was still shut up in the court of the prison saying thus says the lord who made it the lord who formed it to establish it the lord is his name call to me and i will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know i'll repeat verse number three call to me and I will answer and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. And may the Lord bless the reading of the word. When I was going through my Bible, I found a burden to return to this very verse. Especially so verse number three, because there are Bible statements that have grown with us. There are statements from the Bible that have been with us for years. And they have given us stability in our days of instability. I cannot remember how many times I have read Jeremiah 33 verse 3. I don't know how many times it has been spoken to me. But every time I discover I am in a low level. Things are not working. Everything is haywire. I remember there can come a time man is in need. And the only thing to do when you are in a pit, when you are in a prison, when things are not working, is to call upon the name of the Lord. And I have entitled my sharing in these three days, God who hears when we call. I want to be preaching about God who hears when we call. There is a God in heaven. Who will never go inside the pit. But he hears those who are in the pit. There is a God in heaven. Who is seated on the throne. He is the only fair judge. It is very possible that you can be in a pit. Not because you are worthy being in the pit. But circumstances have put you there. Or human beings have pushed you into the pit of despair. And you are almost losing hope. Because things are not working. But I'm here to present to you the same word you know. And I'm here to tell you the same things you have heard. That the God who hears those who are in trouble is our God today. 
the God of the ancients of time. The Bible calls him the ageless God. The one who was in the times of Jeremiah. When Jeremiah was hated because of the stand he took. Jeremiah was a beacon of hope. But he was hated because he stood for righteousness. He is a man who stood for what God says. In the days of Jeremiah, he was a prototype of the Messiah. A man who stood and boldly spoke against the kings and told them what God said. And because he stood for the truth, they hated him one time and they threw him in the pit for the second time. And when he was almost giving up, when Jeremiah was almost giving up, God spoke to him. And I thank God because he will always speak to the righteous, the men who trust in him. That is why the Bible says, lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge the Lord. Trust in him. Put your trust in God. Because there will come a time you will need God. In life it will not always be butter and bread. In life you will not always just have friends who love you. But there comes a time when enemies come to put you in a mess. There comes a time when forces come to pull you down. And Jeremiah was in a pit. I'm here to tell somebody you could be the Jeremiah of today. Life is unfair against you. Troubles are on every side. And you are unable to accomplish some very important assignments of your life. You are sidelined by time. But I'm here to say while you are in the pit of despair. God spoke to Jeremiah as a way to teach us he will speak to us as well he is the God of Jeremiah and he is our God he speaks to those who are in the pit he speaks to those who are in debt he speaks to those who are in sickness he speaks to those whose marriages are in limbo who are about to break away in marriages and the same God is telling you and me call unto me three what's here in our phrase call unto me which stand for one word in our bible called prayer come on praise be to the lord call unto me which stands for one word very important in the bible called prayer god establishes relationship with the people who pray god establishes relationship with the people who trust him bible says in hebrews chapter 11 verse number six those who say there is no god god does not value them those who come to him must believe that the, he is. There is a time when we need living in the pit. There is a time we need living in a toilet somewhere. They want to abuse you. They want to, you know, they want to do any kind of stuff for you. But you say, I will kneel down and I will call upon the name of the Lord. That is why the scripture says, those who call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. God came to Jeremiah and he told Jeremiah, call unto me. Now I'm saying this to the church of today. We must remember to pray. When things are not working, the only way is to pray. When people hate you, don't hate them back. Pray. When things are not coming your way, money is, you know, money is hesitant. No, it is not coming your way. You have to pray. There are many people who have developed many ways of survival. There are no other ways of survival. Jesus prayed. And I'm here to say, as Jesus prayed, Jeremiah was told, call unto me. And I've come to release the same words to the church of Jesus Christ. We should not stop praying. We should not stop calling upon the name of the Lord. We should not be weary in prayer. Some people are weary in prayer. But God has sent me to you this evening to tell you, you have to pray until something happens. I say, you have to pray until your enemies are defeated. You have to pray. Pray until a sickness dies. You have to pray until you overcome the things your father never overcame. There are things our parents were not able to overcome. But we will call upon the name of the Lord in faith. We will tell him, Lord, we believe in you. We will tell him, God, you are able. We will tell him, God, you answer prayer. And he says, I will answer. Psalm says, the Bible says in Psalms, did he who created ears not have his own ears to hear our prayer. If God created ears, he has ears to hear our prayer. That is why the psalmist, in chapter number 20 of Psalms, he says, May God hear you in the sanctuary. 
There is a place in heaven where God ceases to hear prayer. There is a place in heaven where God ceases to receive the requests of men. We call prayers petitions. When you pray, you are presenting a petition. When you pray, you are presenting a supplication. Sometimes when things are heavy on you, don't consider the things that are heavy. Consider the God who is ready to hear prayer. When people are calling you names, call on Jehovah. When things are not working, let's call on God. He is ready and he will hear prayer. I've known God for hearing prayer. And some of us are still doubting. Ask Elijah on the mountain. In the midst of almost 100, 800 prophets that were on payroll, who purported to have a God who hears prayer, but their God from the Bible refused to hear their prayer. But Elijah, a man of God, Elijah, a man of faith, Elijah, who had previously been a fugitive, he had run away because he spoke the will of God and they, want, they would have killed him. But God tells Elijah, reappear because I will be with you. And I'm here to tell somebody there is a time you have to reappear. There is a time you have to confirm and reaffirm your presence. And tell people you will not scare me because I will take you to the mountain of prayer. And God will hear my prayer and God will answer my prayer with fire. I'm talking to a church that is almost moving down in faith as though God does not hear prayer. And I'm telling the nation of Kenya there is a God who hears when we pray. There is a God who hears when we pray. Anna the barren woman prayed to God. The God of Anna opened her womb. I'm here to say to those who are barren, God will open your womb when you pray. I'm here to say to those who are in difficulties there is a God who hears when we pray. And the devil does not want us to preach about prayer. We will tell people when we pray, God hears prayer. Somebody say amen. amen. God has ears. Now I'm here to no, silence our critics who think we evolved. We were created by God. He put ears on us. If God put ears on us, he hears our prayer. He hears every language. And I'm here to tell you it doesn't matter your language. God hears all languages. He hears Swahili. He hears English. He hears every language. You may pray in your mother tongue. God hears prayer. He hears the prayers of angels. He hears the prayers of men. God is waiting to hear you pray. He told Jeremiah, call unto me. And he's telling us today, we are beginning an unpleasant predictable here. We are beginning a year we have never been in but we are ready to tell God give me a powerful 2021. Give me a prosperous 2021. Take me into this year with your power. Take me into this year with your strength. Now I'm here to team up with brethren who are ready to pray. I'm here to team up with families that are ready to pray. May, many other people will be playing around but I'm making up my mind. I will pray in 2021. Doesn't matter what I go through. There is a God who hears when I pray. I listen to a man of God who said, everybody else may appear to be praying and I have no problem. But when I kneel down to pray, he hears my prayer. I want you to grow to a level where you believe in the God you believe. That when you close the door behind you in your secret room, when you come out, you come out with answers. There is a God who can relate with you closely and now for you to believe him every time you go to pray that he will hear your prayer. Praise be to the Lord. God, I will answer. I'm here to say to somebody, your prayers. I want to hear an amen from the house of faith. I say I want to hear an amen from the house of faith. Pastor, my issues are many. He will hear your prayer. Challenges are many. He will hear your prayer. My sickness is so. He will hear your prayer. He told Jeremiah, I give you my guarantee. I will hear your prayer. I will hear your prayer. And after God hears your prayer, he will answer prayer. There is one thing to hear and another thing for you to have a tangible proof that you prayed to God. He answered your prayer. And that is what happened to Hannah. She had to touch the child and make the child a proof before Eli to go and correct Eli the more. The woman who appeared to be drunk in the house of God. She was not drunk. She was a woman of faith. She was praying to the invisible God. 
and the invisible God provided a tangible result. And the child you are seeing here is a product of my prayer. And I'm praying that before the year ends, you will have a Samuel as evidence to the people that thought you were mad, to the people that thought you are wasting your morning glory, to the people who think you are, you are the kind of a person who doesn't have what to do, and that is why you kneel down every time. I'm here to say, the answer God will give you will silence your enemies. And I'm praying that God will materially bless you because he's ready to silence your enemies. The only God thing God can do for you is to bless you until those who hate you, they love you without choice. There comes a time that God will bless you until those who don't love you, they will have to love you. Come on, if you have somebody you hate and they have a house and you are the tenant, you love to love them. You smile by, <laughs> you have to smile to them. You don't smile, they can, they can remove you out of their house. May God open that door that no money can open, that no education can open, that no senior person in government can open. When we call unto God, he answers prayer. Somebody say amen. amen. That very verse in Jeremiah, it says, and I will show you. That means as a human being, there are levels you may not be able to see. There are things that you cannot see perhaps as a person. But prayer will bring you to a place where you see the greatness of God. He says, and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. That is why the Apostle Paul writing to the Corinthians, he says, What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, the things which no heart has fathomed, the things God has put in store for the people that love him. I'm here to pose a question to you. Do you believe God loves you? Do you believe God created you for a reason? Do you believe you are the apple of his eye? It doesn't matter the pit where you are. There is a level God will lift you from the place of prayer. So that when you come from the place of prayer, your eyes will see the greatness of God. Your eyes will see the provision of God. And that is why God called Abraham to the mountain, not to the valley. Because to the mountain, you will see a higher level. God relates with people from the mountain. Elijah was a man of the mountain, not a man of the valley. Elisha was a man of the mountain. And I'm asking, are you a woman or a man of a mountain? Do we go to the valley and plains like Lut? Lut was not a man of prayer. He was a complacent man. He would survive from the prayers of Abraham. <laughs> Look at your neighbor, ask your neighbor, do you stand your feet in prayer or do you survive from other people's prayer? Lut was a survivor because he was not a man of covenant. Nowhere in the Bible do you see Lut building an altar for God. To build an altar in the Old Testament means to establish a relationship in prayer. Praise be to the Lord. To build an altar. When Israel was about to be wiped because of a plague, David built an altar for God. Why? Because he was a man of prayer. And I'm challenging the church of today. May God raise a man of faith like Abraham in our generation. A man of faith like Isaac. When the kings of the country were out to mess Isaac, he built an altar for God. A place where he will meet with God and tell God, this time round fight my enemies. This time round defeat my enemies. God hears when we pray and he will show you the greatness of his power. He tells Jeremiah, I will show you great and mighty things. Can I speak something to somebody this year? God will not show you small things. God will show you big things. That a man is not the man I will expect from an expectant person. I say God will show you mega things. I pray that God will show you big things. We are tired of small things that they behave. They look like God never had our prayer. But I prophesy that this year God will show you big things. And I want to tell you something. When the devil wants to embarrass you with a huge problem. It is a precast. It comes before a big miracle. Big problems come before big miracles. I'm speaking to somebody who went their lowest in 2020. I'm speaking to somebody who was purely robbed by the enemy. You are robbed your peace. You are robbed your money. You are robbed your precious things. And you are in a sort of a pit. And you are wondering how will I go about 
I'm here to say God will give you double for your trouble. One miracle will erase your poverty. I care. One miracle will wipe your tears. I say one miracle will wipe. One miracle for Hannah was more than ten sons of Benina. Big things. I'm here to tell you, believe God for big things. Come on, look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor big things. I have to believe God for big things. <laughs> there is a story about a dog and an elephant. They all conceived at the same time. A, a, you know, a dog conceives, an elephant conceives. But before the elephant gave birth, the dog had given birth severally, so many puppies. And the dog almost started to, you know, play around with the elephant. I've seen you carrying this thing for a long time. What is not happening? See how many times I've given birth. So many puppies all over. But the elephant, after he was tired, he turned to the dog and he told the dog, Listen, dog, I'm not carrying puppies in my womb. I'm carrying an elephant. Ask your neighbor, are you carrying puppies or an elephant? Because we have to trust God for big things. One child elephant is bigger than a bull. It is equal to a thousand puppies. There are so many people who appear to be giving birth every time. Wait. Let them continue giving birth to puppies. But there will come a time when your elephant comes to the ground. There will be an earthquake. I'm calling it a big miracle. Now I'm believing God for a big miracle. I'm praying that God will establish a big miracle. You know, sometimes I dream speaking to people in a stadium. I don't care where we are beginning from. But I believe God a miracle will happen and I will be planted in a stadium. I will be preaching to a congregation and a thousand people respond to the call to salvation. I don't care what people think about it. But God does great and exceeding things. God is not a God of small things. Somebody say amen. amen. Two people are praying. And one of them was really shouting a lot in prayer. He was praying almost. You know, mucus coming out and shouting. And the other guy was like, what is not happening? My friend is, my friend is, is too much in this thing. What is not happening? He stopped praying and he listened to the other person that was praying. And he discovered the money that he was asking God for <laughs> was his pocket money. And then he said, for me, to be at peace with God because I want billions. I want something big. I need to take this young man or this man home. He just went into his pocket and he got the very money this other person was praying for. And then he tapped him. He told him, sir, sorry, please, if you don't mind, have this. And this other guy was shouting a lot. He just left rejoicing in the presence of the Lord. God has answered my prayer. But you know what had happened? This man wanted to have good time with God. Why? Because he was not believing God for that small money. He was believing God for big things. The God who answers small prayers is the same God who answers big prayers. It is you to upgrade your prayer. The Bible says, I will show you mighty things. And I'm here to tell somebody, in 2021, receive faith for bigger things. I say, receive faith for bigger things. Receive faith for a big land, a big portion of land to plant your items. One harvest you can eat for some time. <laughs> Somebody say amen. In one harvest you can eat for some time. May God give you big ideas. Because big miracles come from big prayer. The prayer that you pray until you are tired. The prayer that you pray until you are exhausted. But when the miracle comes, you will rejoice. When the miracle comes, you will praise God. And God says to Jeremiah, I will show you great and mighty things you know nothing about. I want to come back to the scripture you love. As far as prayer is concerned. Matthew chapter number 21. I love Matthew chapter number 21. I will be closing with this in our first day of faith fire fellowship. I'm here to just stir up faith in somebody's spirit. Matthew chapter number 21. Matthew 21. I'll be closing with this scripture because it makes me happy in the presence of God. Verse number 22. Because 
it is faith in in god while we are praying that produces big miracles the bible says and whatsoever things you ask in prayer believing <laughs> you will receive and whatsoever things that english word whatsoever includes big things and small things whatsoever it is an open promise you can fill in a huge car or a starlet whichever you fill in will be granted <laughs> if you have big faith you fill in a mercedes benz it will be given if you have small faith that you say i fill in a bicycle <laughs> the bicycle will come so it is you to determine because jeremiah was told i will show you great things but god does not just give everybody great things he gives people as per their faith that is why jesus said to them whatsoever things you ask whatsoever means anything big or small that me to tell somebody sometimes we have cheap life because we just ask god for small things i want to tell you if god blessed you with an airplane you will never sleep you will always be awake to maintain it <laughs> i said it on sunday some people love small things because they just want to have an easy time but i'm believing god he will give you a hundred workers so that you can pray be praying and fasting move away from just having one worker who doesn't give you a headache you can have one and he's very good they even pray for you you know <laughs> one who is very good they even pray for you. i've seen people who have workers who are so good a house help whom even the child loves the house help more than the mother the child sleeps with the house help so the mother is lazy <laughs> because you don't have trouble around i pray that god will give you a company like abraham he had 318 trained men on his farm and i was asking myself how much was equal to their supper in abraham's house if he had men 318 trained men and i tell you men eat i pray they eat like lawyers i'm sorry if you are a lawyer i'm very sorry for those i could be one of you <laughs> but you can imagine you can imagine what 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 amount of what amount of food abraham was feeding men plus their children and wives it made abraham to build many altars to have a god who can sustain his family may god give you a big company of miracles sometimes we limit god in our prayer and in this meeting i'm here to stir up your faith if you will believe god from day one in 2021 for bigger things god will give you bigger things somebody say amen so the bible says whatsoever things you ask emphasis asking we have to pray prayer is imperative prayer is a must if you are not prayerful you are joking with life you have to pray somebody say amen you have to believe god and by believing in your heart speak with your mouth you have to pray asking in prayer believing and you will receive as i close mark chapter number 11 mark 11 mark 11 this is a faith fire fellowship we are returning to the faith scriptures the scriptures that touch on faith because this year miracles will happen the sicknesses will die i'm here to say some sickness will die just today the bible says for assuredly this is an emphasis assuredly i say to you whoever says to this mountain somebody say a mountain there are some things that appear to be mountains in our life whoever will say to this mountain that is in prayer while in prayer it is only through prayer that we can face mountains in life now i'm declaring may you begin to face your mountain the bible says if you say to that mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart faith means you have no doubt in what you are saying because you know i'm saying it to the god who is able to deal with mountains that is faith you say to the mountain be removed 
and be cast into the sea and you doubt not in your heart but believe that those things you are those things you are saying will happen you will receive whatever you have requested now i'm here to challenge somebody have faith in god believe god is able to handle that mountain we are living in the days of mountains like cancer mountains like asthma mountains like pneumonia mountains like high blood pressure mountains of every kind but you will speak to the mountains I say we will speak to the mountains. Turn to somebody and tell them you have to speak to your mountain. You have to boldly face your mountain. You have to tell the mountain of luck. You have to square it out and tell God my wallet will be full. My bank account will be smiling. You have to prophesy to the mountain of your life. He said to Jeremiah, ask and I will show you great and mighty things you know nothing about he said to cyrus in isaiah 45 i will take you to treasures in hidden places if only we believe in god god will access you to treasures in 2021 treasures in hidden places but you have to speak to the mountain of your life now i'm here to tell somebody don't sleep in 2021 arise in the spirit of the inner man and go and speak to your mountain. Jesus was successful in ministry. Because he never feared any mountain. He spoke things that nobody would have spoken. How can you just wake up one day. You come and tell a tree nobody will ever eat from you. He doubted not. The following day Peter was passing in the same place. He said to the Lord Jesus. Master the tree is dry. I am talking to somebody today. Go speak to your tree. Somebody say amen. Dare you a mountain. Do you say you are born again? Any small or big miracle, the power is the same. <laughs> Somebody preached here when we were still facing the other side. A small man. We were with them in the school of ministry. He spoke a word that I will never forget. And I was so moved. I thank God that I had given him to preach in a revival. He said, the same power that God used to create a fly is the same power he used to create an elephant <laughs> how pastor can you prove it scientifically i cannot i'll use the word when creating the elephant he just said let there be and when he was creating the fly he said let there the same power so you can either create your fly or your elephant the power is the same we have to tell god i want my elephant in 2021 Believe God, that elephant will appear. You have to believe God, cancer. The same power that heals cancer is the same power that heals, you know, malaria. Don't say God will be so scratching his head. He says, today I have a big thing to do. There is a cancer to heal. It is very small before God. Whatever you call a mountain is nothing before God. Face it in faith and God will hear and answer your prayer we go back and we finish our sermon the bible says he came to jeremiah in a pit could you be in a pit this evening things are not working have faith in god believe there is a god who hears prayer believe there is a god who answers prayer he said to moses i've heard the cry of my people and i've seen their tears and I've come to save them. And I'm here to tell the church in this place. We have been sowing and sowing and sowing to do the work of God here. It is our harvest time. Let's stand on our feet in the presence of the Lord. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor it is harvest time. <laughs> we have been sowing every day. We have been sowing in prayer. I remember the days we were coming here midnight prayer praying. Moving around this place. Leaving this place in the middle of the night in the dangers of Jomfu. Going back to our homes. We've been sowing. We have been sowing. We have been giving our money and our time. When it's raining, not raining. It is time to elevate your faith and receive your miracle. That is why we will not stay in our homes. God will never answer you while in the house. In the place of prayer, God will hear your prayer. 
he visited Zechariah while on duty. Ask your neighbor, are you on duty? He met with Zechariah while on duty. And some people want to go to find them in their house while others are praying in the place of prayer. No! God will answer you while on the mountain. Bible says, and Elijah told his servant, I'm going to pray, but you will go to look for results. You have to go and wait to see when the cloud appears. I want to tell you, don't be the one to be sent to see the cloud. Be the one causing the cloud. Turn to somebody, tell them, be the one causing the cloud. <laughs> be the Elijah, not the servant of Elijah. Be involved in the events of the time. This year we're going to pray. Turn to somebody and tell them we're going to pray. We're going to call on the name of the Lord. The Bible says those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now I'm here to say this year is a year of salvation. Salvation from poverty. Salvation from sickness. Salvation from abuse. From those who are in power. Who want to steal a lot. And the poor is suffering. May the Lord hear our prayer and remove them from power. It is time for us to pray. It is time for us to inquire from the Lord. It is time for us to tell him, Lord, we are tired of this pardon. Send help from the sanctuary. By the way, even Jesus, our master and Lord, is praying for us. In Hebrews 7, 25, the Bible says he's seated at the right hand side of the Father in heaven. Doing what? Praying. If Jesus, who is supposed to be comfortable, who finished the rest, is praying how much more for us who are where the devil was thrown and you tell your neighbor where we are is where the devil was thrown where we are <laughs> the bible says who unto you who are dwellers on the earth because the serpent has been you have to fight a good fight of faith in prayer money will not just come believe god in prayer prophesy and money will come that is how i go about when i'm believing god for money I put on the armor of God. Faith is one of the armor that I put on. That I believe God, money will go through banks, through men. It will end going through my hands. I believe it and it does. It is time to believe God and miracles will happen. Let's lift up our holy hands to the Lord in worship. Tell the Lord, you are a God who hears prayer. You are a God who answers when we pray. Just speak a word to the Lord. Speak to him. Tell him, Lord, my heart is strengthened. My spirit is ignited. I will believe you for bigger things. I will believe you for bigger things. God has given us the Holy Spirit, our helper, to come and help us when we pray. Receive the spirit of prayer this evening. Receive the spirit of supplication. May the Holy Ghost give you power to wake up. May the Holy Ghost give you ability. May the Holy Ghost remind you the scriptures you love in the Bible. Lift up your holy hands and receive revival. The scriptures you love those days that you have forgotten the scriptures on prayer. May the Lord bring them back to us, Lord. We will believe you for bigger things, Lord. We will believe you for maker things. We will believe leave you for great things my father we refuse to eat on the same table with the devil we refuse to be in fellowship with sickness we are binding every sickness lord we are binding every witchcraft we are binding every attacks of the enemy devil clear the way we are passing through a path God has cleared in 2021. We declare to demons pave way. The fire of God is devouring you. For when the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of God raises a standard. Father, raise a standard for us. Raise a standard, King. We pray in the name of Jesus. I pray 2021. January will not be trouble. 2021, January will not be a burden. My Lord, release that miracle from heaven. Command finances we pray father command somebody the same way you commanded in the days of Elijah may you command in our days somebody is in need Lord may you show them great and mighty things that they know nothing about father our trust is in you our faith is in you concerning the sick in our families I pray that they will receive healing concerning our children who are not catching up in class law I pray that you make them heads and not tails my father concerning our aging parents who are almost sick Lord to rob us of another's heal them Lord and give them divine health because you hear prayer and you answer prayer we thank you and we bless you bless everyone that has come 
to be in your presence this evening. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's give a hand clap. Oh, praise to the Lord. Let's give him a thunderous praise. Shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. May you receive your elephant miracle. I prophesy, may you receive your elephant miracle. Your miracle will leave you wondering. Your miracle will ignite your laughter. I declare, may your miracle ignite your laughter in 2021. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will leave you laughing. Because he's going to turn around your everything. He's a faithful God. As we stand, let's help somebody on Facebook who is not born again. You are listening to this word and you are wondering, will a miracle happen to me and I'm a sinner? There is room for you to receive a miracle through faith in Christ. Repeat this prayer of repentance and turn your heart to the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as Lord in my heart. I repent my sins. I ask you to forgive me and write my names in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. If you pray that prayer, you are part of the winning team and Jesus is Lord over you. Trust in God. He will answer your prayer. Let's clap to the Lord for those who have prayed that prayer. Amen. You may be seated as we finish our fellowship tonight. The only best way to do it is to give an offering to the Lord. In this revival time, as we ignite our faith with fire from heaven, we will also serve the Lord. We will go back to the days of faith and believe God when you don't have what you don't have. You sow a seed to God and you tell God, listen to my prayer when I'm praying. And God will answer our prayer. Get a nice offering we give to the Lord and we will finish this service in a short while. I will request you to call your neighbors. You want to fill this place with faith. By Friday, brethren, God also honors numbers. Amen. When we are in big number lifting up our holy hands, something will happen in this place. Amen. I say something will happen in this place. Father, I pray that you receive our offering this evening as you go to give. May you minister to every sower in these three days of faith, fire, fellowship. I pray that, Lord, the impossible will be possible even in our financial area. Open that door and cause that miracle. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So have faith in God. Believe in him. He will surely cause it to pass. Believe in God. He will surely cause it to pass. Tomorrow we are waking up early in the morning. Those of us who are weak, gain strength. Strengthen yourself. Let's wake up and pray. And we're going to win. We will not win sleeping. We will win praying. Praise be to the Lord. So please, attack the year before the year attacks you. <laughs> attack the year before the year does what? Attacks you. You need to attack it. You need not to fight a defensive war. Fight an offensive war. Hit the enemy before the enemy hits you. And that is what we do. We are hitting the enemy in advance. Before he comes to hit you, you have already done enough damage to his kingdom. So please let's strengthen ourselves. I encourage that you can call a friend. It's no problem calling us. So just get their consent. <laughs> Some when you call them without consent, they will be critical. Why did you do this and that? Uh, you know, it will bring issues. Ask them if you can call them and you do. They will wake up and it will be a winning team. Let's stand on our feet. Let's stand on our feet in the presence of the Lord. These are three days of big things. I pronounce and I declare these are three days of big things. God will hear our prayer and answer with great things in the name of Jesus. If only you believe. My desire is that you believe. My prayer is that you believe. Doubt not in your heart. Something will happen. Father, I cover the church of Jesus Christ with the blood of Jesus. As we leave this place, let the grace of God go with us and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We thank you because, Lord, you will wake us up early to call on your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you. Have a blessed time. In Jesus' name.